five billion years into the future, will the Earth still exist or the universe? What would be our ultimate fate and will we manage to survive? This is what will happen in space and on Earth in five billion years. Sit down and enjoy the video. Humanity itself is around 300,000 years old, which means very young, in space. Some of the cool events here on Earth, or in space, can happen in a few years into the future. Some of them are in millions, like for example the return of the Hale-Bopp comet, or a visible supernova close to the solar system. This video will be about events dated more than 100 million years into the future as we have already made a video about those a few months ago. So let's begin our journey to the future. In 100 million years, Saturn will lose all of its rings. This will make the sixth planet in the solar system not as beautiful as before. Luckily, Mars's gravity will rip apart its moon Phobos which will create a small, beautiful ring around the red planet. If we manage to survive the asteroid striking era, then in 180 million years, a day on Earth will increase by one hour due to the gradual slowing of Earth's rotation. 60 million years later, our solar system will complete one full orbit around the galactic center, a big black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. Somewhere around 250 million years AD, rapid biological evolution may occur due to the formation of a supercontinent causing lower temperatures and higher oxygen levels. This will increase volcanic activity. In 400 million years, the hottest planet Venus will hit its maximum temperatures. And in 500 million years, Within 6,500 light-years from Earth, a hyper-energetic supernova or a gamma-ray burst will affect Earth's ozone layer and potentially trigger a mass extinction. And the Sun will become so hot that Earth's oceans will evaporate. Plate tectonics will grind to a halt and so much carbon dioxide will build up in the atmosphere that our planet will in time look like Venus. In 600 million years, the tidal acceleration effect will move the Moon so far away that solar eclipses are no longer possible. In 800 million years, carbon dioxide levels will fall to the point at which photosynthesis is no longer possible. Without plant life to recycle oxygen in the atmosphere, free oxygen and the ozone layer will disappear from the atmosphere allowing for intense levels of deadly UV light to reach the surface. Animals in food chains that were dependent on live plants will disappear shortly afterward. At most, animal life could survive about 3 to 100 million years after plant life dies out. In 1 billion years, 27% of the ocean's mass will have been subducted into the mantle. In one and a half billion years, the Sun will rise its luminosity. This will cause its circumstellar habitable zone to move outwards, as carbon dioxide will rise in Mars's atmosphere. Its surface temperature will rise to levels akin to Earth during the Ice Age. In 1.6 billion years, the tidal acceleration will move the Moon far enough from the Earth to the point where it can no longer stabilize Earth's axial tilt leading to dramatic shifts in the planet's climate. In two billion years, there will be a first close passage of the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way. In three to four billion years, the Earth's inner core will freeze. There is a chance that the Earth will be ejected into interstellar space by a stellar encounter before this point and a lower chance that it will be both ejected into space and captured by another star around this point. If this were to happen, any remaining life on Earth could potentially survive for far longer if it survived the interstellar journey.
In 3.6 billion years, Neptune's moon Triton will fall through the planet's Roche limit, potentially disintegrating into a planetary ring system similar to Saturn's. And in 5 billion years, there will be two big and important events. First is the full collision of the Andromeda galaxy with the Milky Way galaxy. With this collision, there is a big chance that the solar system will be ejected. However, the planets will remain the same. The second very important and not so happy event is that the Earth will no longer survive. The Sun will basically eat it. Approximately 5 billion years into the future, the Sun will expand into a red giant. In this process, it will consume the Earth in its way. Right now, the Sun is a middle-aged star, but it won't last forever. When the core runs out of hydrogen fuel, it will contract under the weight of gravity. However, some hydrogen fusion will occur in the upper layers. As the core contracts, it heats up. This heats the upper layers, causing them to expand. As the outer layers expand, the radius of the star will increase and it will become a red giant. The radius of the Sun as a red giant will be just beyond Earth's orbit. Our atmosphere will get stripped away. All water will evaporate. For a while, we'll look like Venus, locked in a choking carbon dioxide atmosphere with extremely hot temperatures, not sustainable for life. This is the ultimate fate of our home planet. However, there is a chance that humanity will survive as we will probably be so advanced that we could travel to another star system before this horrible event. Later on, the Sun's expansion will stop. However, Earth won't be habitable again as extreme energies emitted by the Sun will be intense enough to vaporize rocks leaving behind nothing more than the dense iron core of our planet. We will not witness any of those events, the bad or the cool ones, and we can't say for sure that they will happen 100%. We don't even know if humanity will still exist by that time. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more content from the universe.